Hey, it's Andre. Sorry I haven't made a video in a few days. But um, I know that my fans are dying to know what's going on in my life. So, you know, got to go with the flow. Um, this is oxycodone. And it is a drug that I'm on right now. Because I have some some wounds in my shoulder due to ligament reconstruction. I talked about this on other videos that I fucked up my shoulder doing a backflip and you know, not an ideal situation, but in the long run, probably something to laugh about, but I had to get surgery because damn thing just didn't heal. So here I am. And um, so far, it feels really good. I mean, as far as I can tell, if it's it's in the right position now, because like there's a bandage on it and it's a little swollen, so it's kind of hard to really touch it. But um, I can't. I mean, the bandage is covering where the bump used to be. But as far as like looking at it, it looks correct now when I see it in a mirror. So um, I'm happy. I put out some money for this, but in the long run, it is definitely money well spent. So, uh, pain levels like at a six right now. Um, I've been sitting around for the last few days. Got the surgery yesterday. Got it like exactly 24 hours ago, but I didn't really do much the last two days leading up to it. So I've kind of been sitting around for a couple days i'm anxious to be able to move around more i can barely sleep and it's not because of pain it's because i don't sleep well when i'm so energetic i have to kind of exert my energy which i'm not really able to do but it's okay because i think that after a few days i'm gonna be pretty pain free because this is like not bad by the way this thing i got on me is just a cooler that machine that's running is running cold water all over my shoulder. I paid like 300 bucks to rent this thing because I'm doing everything. I, I do everything it takes to fix my body because it's important. So, yeah. They, um, they gave me, I guess what you would call this surgery is lockdown surgery. Because if you, if you separate your collarbone from your acromium, you kind of have to get it back locked into place or else it's just going to pop up again. And they have to do that with, they do it a bunch of different ways, but the way they did it on me was with an all allograft ligament and some sutures. And um, so yeah, got another person's body in my body, no homo. And um, got some sutures in there. Really big thank you to whoever the person was that gave me the ligaments. Because bottom line is that was a real life person that passed away and was willing to donate their ligaments. And I got one of their ten. Well, it was a tendon, I think, but turned it into a ligament in my body. So seriously, like, honestly, huge thank you. If I could thank that person while they were alive, then I would do that. And, um, yeah, the drug helps a little bit. Kind of puts me on a high for, like, 30 minutes. And then once it settles, I just feel a little loopy, but the pain comes back pretty quick. And, um... Just been eating a lot of bananas and El Pollo Loco. I really want to get back to my house. I'm at my mom's house because she was taking care of me. But I'm going to be going back to my house in a few hours and eating my food, my prepped food. Getting back to eating clean. Getting back to keeping the weight down and everything, which is important to me. Because I just recently lost like 130 pounds. So I got to be able to manage that weight. It's very important to me still, even while I'm not able to exercise. So, I have goals to race. I have goals to downhill mountain bike ride. 
I have goals to make money. I had to dish, I, I self paid this surgery, which is pretty crazy. I paid for this surgery out of pocket and I didn't even go into debt because of it, technically, because I had the money, but it put me in a hole. Well, it didn't put me in a hole, it just backtracked me, you know, from being able to put out money into things I love doing. So now, once I have all my money in one place, I'm gonna be left with probably about two grand. So all in all, by the end of this year, I could end up with healthy shoulder, healthy body, two grand in the bank, and I could be working. So overall, 2017 till now has been a dramatically big improvement in my life from being seven grand into debt, 150 pounds overweight, no job, no like confidence, I guess. So shit's gotten a lot better in the last couple years, even though you get some bumps in the road or some bumps in the shoulder and you gotta get them fixed. So yeah, man. Sorry I'm not all out there and flamboyant today because my brain's a little dull right now because of what I'm going through, but I'm not like, you know, firing on all eight cylinders right now, but this is definitely doable, what I'm going through. Surgery was way less crazy than I thought, even though, so now that the numbness is worn off, I'm feeling the pain, and I tell you what, man, doable it's not like what I thought it was gonna be or I was trying to psych myself out. I was trying to trying to give myself the worst case scenario of what it was gonna feel like it's nowhere near that so very doable I haven't really felt my shoulder out too much yet but I'm pretty confident that it's gonna feel great and it's gonna be right back there where it needs to be so I mean my arm already feels great every I've already I've already accidentally moved my shoulders a couple times too, and I could feel the muscles in there working, even though they've been cut into. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to fuck with them right now because they, they got to heal, but it feels good. It feels painful, but it feels good. All right, I'm going to probably drink some milk right now, so I got to go. Dre out. <laughs>